Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to give you a crash course on how to prune fruit trees. Now this topic is actually a little bit complicated, so before we go outside and prune some trees, I first want to show you the theory. So stay tuned. Alright folks, so I have made a drawing for you and here you can see a fruit tree. It can be an apple tree or a cherry tree. So now we want to prune this tree here and it's pretty complicated as you can see. So which branch should go first? So first of all, you want to eliminate all of the branches that grow at the inside of the crown towards the inside of the crown. So um, this branch here, for example, if you let this one grow, it will sooner or later touch the main branch here and maybe it will damage the branch because when branches are crossing each other, they always rub off their barks and then they can get some foulness or fungi infection and that's really bad. So you never want to have crossing branches. So this is really the first step, which is pretty easy. So we want to cut off this branch here. Okay, so this one is eliminated and we want to cut off this branch here. Okay, next, the next step would be that we have to determine our leading branches, our future branches, and we have to cut off their competitors. So this here would be a leading branch, right? This is a branch that we want to keep, but this here is very close to the leading branch and this is actually the competitor branch and we want to cut that off because we want all of the energy to go into this branch here. So now we are going to cut off this branch here. So this branch here is gone. The same goes at the top here. So I think that the leading branch is the left one because it's bigger and stronger than the right one. So I definitely want to keep the leading branch. And this is definitely a competitor to the leading branch. So I want to cut it off right here. So this one is gone too. Okay, the next uh, leading branch is this one here at this side. And this is the competitor branch. So let's cut this one off. This one is now gone. And here at this side, this is already a new leading branch. So we just leave that here. And at the left side here, we can see another leading branch, which we want to keep. And this here is definitely its competitor. So we are going to cut it off. This one is gone. Okay. Okay, as a next step, we want the leading branches to get shortened. This is important because we want them to make some side branches for the next year and this will increase the yield and give us more apples or cherries. So how do we do that? Well, um, we want to have the bud, the last bud facing outwards. So here at this branch, you can see that there's a bud here and at the inside. So what you want to do is you want to cut off the leading branch here because then in the next year, the bud will grow to the outside. And if you would cut the leading branch here, the branch in the next year would grow to the inside and that's not something that we want. So we always want the last bud facing outwards. So here we would cut off this branch and in the next year we will have a branch here. Uh, same goes for this branch here. So I cut it off right here and the next branch will go in this direction. Same goes for up here. I cut off the branch here and this bud will grow into this direction and here it's the same this bud is facing outwards so we are going to cut the branch here and the same goes for here so in the next year this bud is becoming the branch and it will grow this way as a last step, we can shorten the side branches 
which are getting too long. For example, this one here we can cut off right here. And here's the bud which will grow in this direction next year. Or at this side I would make a cut here and then the side branch would grow this way. So side branches are always a little bit tricky because they can quickly become a leading branch if you make a mistake up here or here. So it's always great if you shorten them as well. Now these small side branches you can leave because they are not really competitors and actually they might carry quite a lot of apples in the next year. So this was the general theory of cutting trees and now I want to go into more detail. I want to show you where to exactly cut the branch. Okay, let's say this is your leading branch and you want to cut it off. Then you want to make the cut exactly here. Okay? You don't want to make it here because it's too close to the butt and you don't want to make it up here because it's too far away and then this piece would fall away, which is bad for the tree. So you want to make it right above the last bud. And the most important thing is that you cut in an angle. So you never want to cut in a 90 degrees angle, but always like 50 degrees or 60 degrees, something like that, because then the water can run off here and it won't get stuck on the branch. And if you have water on the cut, it might fall and it might destroy the tree. It might get infected by a fungal infection or something else. Okay, last but not least, I want to show you how you debranch a twig or a branch. Okay, so if you want to cut off a branch, then you want to cut exactly here. Okay. This is where you want to cut, right here. So if you take a closer look, you will see that this wood here is older. You can see it because it's darker. And this is a one year old branch. And actually, if you take a close look, there's a small border here between the two year old wood and the one year old wood. So if you take a close look, you will see this and you make your cut right after this border here. You don't want to make the cut here because then you would damage the tree too much and you don't want to make the cut up here somewhere because then it would take ages until the wood can grow over the old cotton dead stump here. So you don't want to have any stumps but also you don't want to come too close to the tree. You always want to cut off the branch right here. Okay, now there's one more thing to say, one last thing that I almost forgot. So if you have some small branches, like this one here, uh, don't cut these ones away because they often bear fruit. And this one, yeah, I only cut this one away because it was growing towards the main stem here. But if this was growing, let's say, into this direction here, just like this one, then I definitely would not cut that one away. So sometimes the tree makes very small branches like this one here and they often bear fruit. So make sure that you don't cut away these small branches. Okay, we are in my gardening shed right now. And for cutting trees, we are going to need some pruners like this one here. All right guys, so this is the first tree that I want to cut. It's a dwarf cherry tree, so I have planted it here one year ago. Yeah, and now let's start pruning this tree here. Ah, as you can see here, we have branches that crisscross, which is not good. So I'm going to cut this one off. This is the competitor branch of the leading branch anyway, so it has to go anyway. Okay, now I'm going to shorten the leading branch and I cut it off right here in an angle. Okay, now this branch here, I don't really like because it's growing too much into the crown. So I'm going to cut it back. I'm going to cut it all the way down here. And yeah, this is now becoming the leading branch, but I don't want that. So 
I cut this one away also and I'm going to shorten this one here okay this one I could cut back but yeah let's do it just a little bit here okay this branch here has to go because it's going to the inside okay let's take a look at this side here this is the leading branch I'm going to cut it back right here or maybe here and I'm going to prune away the competitor branch and this one here is growing backwards I don't like that okay I have to shorten this one here this one is fine I'm going to shorten this one here and this one as well yeah so these branches here they are not awesome uh, they are growing straight into the crown and I'm going to cut them away okay now let's take a look at the crown this here is the leading branch I'm shortening it this bud is broken so I'm going to shorten it to here uh, this is the competitor I'm going to cut that away and I'm going to shorten the side branch and this one is fine okay yeah and also now I want to shorten this one as well because it should be somewhat the same height okay now we are fine okay the next tree that I want to show you is this one here this is a dwarf plum tree okay first let's prune away all of the branches that grow to the inside of the crown okay now let's start at the top here we have two branches and I'm not sure which one is the leading branch this one is a little bit stronger so yeah hmm I think I'm going to cut away this one because the other one is the straighter one and this one has to go it's the competitor branch and this one I'm going to shorten okay that's great so here we have the main branch I'm going to shorten it and this one is fine I don't have to shorten this one here I'm just going to prune off the competitors looks much better now and this one looks great also all right folks so this was how to prune fruit trees very important if you want to increase your yield for the next year yeah you can do it like this or you can do it like my neighbor's cat she just comes and eats all day and then she's gone <laughs> all right folks so make sure that you're subscribing to this channel if you want to see more as you can see I have a lot of projects going on and yeah
in one of my next videos I'm going to make a frame for my raspberries. Meow. 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 So thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.